Hey, what up everyone? This is Mondo All Day, back with another video. In this video, I'll be doing my commentary for Black Cat, as well as go over the build guide and the items I use at the very end of this video. So, let's get right into Black Cat. Now, with Black Cat, it's very, very simple. For, for one, one of the talents is, is I think it's a 5% and 10% chance to kill instantly non-boss enemies. So, essentially what it is, is it just gives you an automatic kill. Which is good because I mean, it gives you when you fight uh, Madam Hydra or Red Skull, you can defeat the Sentinel very easy. So, for the first enemies, is easy. For these right here, what I would do is do Signature, get that 1000 damage from the Catalyst. After that, you use your G power and then your Claws. Because with your G, you get a critical hit chance to Claws and basically all your powers, except for your Trap power. Oh, there you go. I got something. Easy, that's like that. But with this build, it's really, really simple, honestly. Um, I didn't think it was gonna be this easy, but it's really, really, and the, really, really simple. And the fact that she does instant kills, like 5% chance when you hit an enemy to instantly kill them, it's even much better. This is really simple right here. No worries, I will kill this enemy, this is really simple. I'm just letting the cooldown for my A power, once that's available, like right now. Then do Signature, get that 1000 damage, G, and all my powers, A, S, D, F, all my powers. That way I can have a higher chance of killing these. Hulk Busters, just like so. And now I can do damage to Madam Hydra. Easy peasy. And the rotation is really simple. It's usually my A power, my S power, and then my D, and then my F power grenade. I have six of them, so you can activate them whenever you can. Um, for signature, I would say I would wait until you get the G power, and once there, then you can activate signature, G, and then A, S, D for that critical. Because one of the one of, um, of the talents grants you critical hit chance to all your claw powers basically all your powers that are non grenades so but you have to have master thief so hence why I do that I activate master thief master thief excuse me this would be easy there you go just like so so wait here a little bit and then activate right about G, H, get that 1000 damage, A, S, C, you're planning to do A, there you go. No, your my F powers or the grenades and traps. I, I call them grenades, so they're actually traps, but I call them grenades. Excuse me about that. So almost done. It's very, really simple. Oh no, I missed. Activated too soon. Signature, um, okay, that's fine. There we go. Instant kill. <laughs> so easy, it's an easy build, honestly. And the good thing is that you don't need um, really high end. Uh, items to pass Cosmic Trial with Black Cap. I use three, no, two, two Cosmic and three Uniques. Yeah, sounds about right. Come on. Alright, and then I'm gonna do G, H, I mean, yeah, for my signature, and then A, S, D, bunch of grenades just to do extra damage. A, S, A, S, D. F, so don't work for needs, and, and, oh, look at that, it's about to die. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> so she died right there. Easy peasy. Who's gonna die anyway, but. And then with these enemies, the same thing. I usually just do my F power here, just to get those grenades, and do the instant kill like so. And then A, F, D to an enemy. F right here, just, these are easy. Or 
over here. I'll uh, we'll do G H. A S D. Grenades, grenades, and then they die just like so. Easy. Now I will say the legendary that I am using do not use. It's not the best. Um, it's a uh, God Killer. I think is what it's called. And so it's honestly not the best. I would not recommend it at all. But I'm using it because I have so many of them, so I figured why not. So G, H, there we go, A, S, D, get that critical. Throw a grenade there. Throw a couple here, a couple here. That way you get a 5% chance to instantly kill. Easy. So let's kill this one right here. Come on. I know you're gonna die. Now for the ultimate, as I've always said it before, and I'll say it again, um, always do it after the second sentinel. But with this particular talent that she has, oops, let's go over here. With a particular talent with Master Thief, give critical hit chance to your claw powers and whip powers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually I'm gonna wait off. And I'm actually gonna activate I'm gonna do my regular rotation, which is activate my G power, H power, then ultimate that way. Um, actually no I'm gonna do the opposite, sorry. It's my my signature to get that one thousand damage, my G power to get critical hit chance on claws, and then do ultimate, that way. When the ultimate is activated, the critical hit chance. The shoot critical hit, according to the talent, but we never know. So here we go, a grenade there, a s d grenade, a s couple grenades, just why not? A s d cool. A S. A S. Got a grenade in there. A S. There we go. Instant kill. So here we go. So we're gonna do is signature. G ultimate. There you go. And just do your rotation. Just do everything else. Just give it all in right now. Yeah, let's go over here. And then put it on this enemy. Oh, ultimate's over. That's okay. Put all the damage was done to. There you go. Instant kill, just like so. Uh, let's see. Traps, trap, traps. So again, it's going to be signature. G A S T, and then just let everything loose, and then rotation again. A S trap here D. So traps whenever you can, and then obviously the rotations A S the trap there, and should be oh, that's it. See, no. easy peasy. I will have my Show you guys what I'm using. Yeah, two cosmic, three uniques. And they're using God Killer, not the best one. So keep it warm. This is not the best. Um, be warned. This is not the best legendary, but it'll do for now. And talents and traits. There you go, right there. And hero synergies. I mean, hero synergies. Infinity points known were used. And yeah, that concludes my costume trial for Black Cat. On to the build guide. Any takers? Now on to the build guide. So the first thing we're gonna look at are the artifacts. So the first artifacts is Book of Demonicas. I'm using this for the plus three to all attributes and also when you hit with the basic power, you increase your damage rating by 30 and it stacks up to 25 times. This is really good because I do use his main, um, her main spanner, which is a basic. So I'm always increasing that damage rating. So overall, pretty good artifact for her, in my opinion. Second one is Kevlar Plated Helmet. I'm using this for the critical hit rating to range attacks, the deflect rating, but also this grants you plus five fighting for five seconds when you critically hit. This is really good, especially for the talents that I use, and I'll go over those in a bit. 
But as I mentioned in the Cosmo trial, um, when you activate Master Thief, your Master Thief, excuse me, not Thief, Thief, um, your claws and whip powers are critical hit. So in short, you're always gonna get that plus five fighting, which fighting and its speed are her main um, attributes. So overall, it's gonna increase your base damage. Next is the is the shield agent medallion. I'm using this for the critical damage rating increase, plus three fighting, health increase, and critical hit rating increase. Overall, really, really, really strong medallion for uh, black black cap. Now, where did I get this? I got this from the boost. The shield box boost or whatever they're called. I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. But the one where you buy a boost and you get the shield boxes. So I get, I actually got a, quite a few of these. So keep that in. That's where I obtain it. But also, too, there's usually events where you can get it as well, too. But overall, this is a really, really good medallion for Black Cat. Next is Lizard's Formula. I'm using this for the attack speed increase, the damage rating increase, plus two speed. But when you critically hit, recover um, five spirit and health. And last but not least is Mayhem Demon Blood. I'm using this for the health increase, the damage rate into melee powers, and when you gain 10 stacks, you increase your, uh, you get, you gain two fighting and two speed. Overall, really good stats for her. I mean, if you can get a Mayhem Demon Blood that increases your damage to physical powers, it'd be better because her um, traps and her signature is a range. So this um, artifact doesn't really help out your your traps and signature, but but everything else it does help out. For the Forge, 800 Defense, and have the Blessing of Power of Dupe, which I don't want to read it because there's a lot of information, but yeah. Now, as I stated in the Cosmic Charles section, um, God Killer is a legendary. I'm using this for, well, the experience is irrelevant, but I'm using this for mainly for the health and damage rating increase. Uh, I use this, honestly, because I have one too many God Killers, so I figured to try it out and see if it actually does um, help out. And it's okay. It's not the best legendary. You can get this legendary... While playing Hightown, I got quite a few of them. I figured why not we'll just use it. But the ones I would use are probably Axe. Actually, you know, I think I think the best one would be for for Black Cat is this one right here. If I can show you guys. Um, come on. Uh, yeah, Savage Axe would probably be the best one because it increases your physical damage rating, critical hit, brutal damage rating, brutal strike rating. But this is what I use for Crossman Trial is God Killer, and for the um, ring, I'm using Industrial Sitting Ring, I'm using this for the critical damage rating, attack speed increase to physical powers, critical hit rating to physical attacks, health increase, and when you hit with the physical power, gain 198 damage rating. Overall, really good stats. Now for slots 1 through 5, the first two were Cosmic, and the last three were her, were her Uniques. Now, her Uniques are by itself, they're okay, they're not the best. Um, for some people, they prefer to use something else. Uh, personally, what I'm going to do is, right after I make this video, I'm just going to use your Herniques and that's it, and just level them up to item grade 69. So, that's just my opinion. So, her Uniques work okay, but there are better Uniques that can further help Black Cat. So, if you want to have Black Cat as your main, then I would say use other Uniques, like Boss Uniques. Because her Uniques by itself, they're decent, but if you want to go in-game content, yeah, you definitely want to use something else. For the costume, I'm using Black Cat Classic Costume. Catalyst, I have it to where 35% of my move speed is increased for 5 seconds when using Medicaid. Health increase, damage rating to melee powers, and plus 3 fighting. Um, Cosmic, after using a signature power, gain 1000 damage rating for 4 seconds. Crafted affixes, critical damage rating as always. Tech bonus, when you use a power, gain 100 maximum spirit for 10 seconds. Insignia, I'm using Insignia of Blade. When you hit with any power, you and your allies gain damage rating versus bleeding targets for 8 seconds. Um, while this effect is active, your physical hits restore 91 health. Not the best Insignia with the, or this Aurora, but I'm mainly using this for the critical hit rating and brutal damage rating increase. Not gonna lie, I'm getting real antsy right about for, shield, uh, for the Flourish, I'm using Shield. So what it looks like. For the pet, I have... Um, base health increase 6%, move speed is increased by 3%, and plus 3 fighting. And for team up, I'm using Civil War Captain America. Alright, for the powers I use, top to bottom, left to right, quick getaway, cat's claws, explosive trap, master thief,
Smear Kitty, Catnap, The Cat's Meow, Signature, of course. And that's it. Infinity Points, mentioned none were used. The Hero Synergies, Angela for the area damage and plus one speed increase. Cable for the critical hit um, rating multiplier increase. Doctor Doom for the signature power damage increase. Electra for the physical damage rating and damage to bosses increase. Hawkeye for the move speed and critical damage rating increase. Moon Knight for the critical hit rating multiplier to melee power or physical powers increase. Rogue for the health on hit, one spirit on hit. Skrill Girl for the damage to bosses increase. War Machine for the 10 fighting plus one, I mean, 10 spirit plus one fighting. And Wolverine for the Buddha Strike and Buddha Damage Rating Increase. Now for the talents and traits, the first row, I use Pinpoint Accuracy. The ch uh, chance to hit, chance on hit to instantly defeat non-boss enemies at 2%. Oh, there you go. As I mentioned in the Cosmic Trial, that there's one particular talent, which is this one, that there's a 2% chance that when you hit, you can defeat non-boss enemies. So this is what I was referring to. And also this talent grants your Critical Hit Chance and Brutal Strike Chance by 2% increase. So overall, really, really good talent because you get that 2% chance to defeat non-boss enemies and this increases your Brutal Strike and Brutal, um, brutal strike and Critical Chance. For the second row is One Woman Minefield. Gas Traps, Sticky Traps, and Explosive Traps have 6 max charges, but those charges are shared. Taser Trap max charges plus 1. So what this does is increases your max charges for the traps, but they do share them. So I I like this because I'm using the explosive trap, which does quite a bit of damage, and I get six charges. So that's really, really good because that means I can always do damage with my range or trap power. And meanwhile, my other powers are in cooldown. Third row is Gatecrasher. Claw powers and whip powers always deal a critical hit while Master Thief is active. This is really good because I'm using four of our powers that are, um, what do you call it, that are Claw and Whip. So when I activate Master Thief, these powers are here. All four of these always critical hit, which is really, really good because her powers by itself, which is her D power, does a lot of damage. So having that critical hit chance is really, really good. And I'll go over to, in a bit, when to use the ultimate. I'll go over the rotation one more time so you guys get a better idea of how to utilize this talent. For the first fourth row, excuse me, is Cat's Meow. Cat Scratch Fever transforms into Cat's Meow. Cat's Meow allows you to pepper spray, pepper spray, pepper the area with explosive trap before cleverly escaping the blast. As you can tell, I'm kind of sleepy and tired. It's been a long day and I've been sick. So, anyways, so what this does is it converts your signature power to the Cat's Meow. Which honestly, this is probably ideal for for Black Cat, whatever build you, you, you decide to go with, because the damage this thing does is tremendous. I mean, look at it: explosive physical damage, two fifty, um, two hundred fifty thousand. Crash, crash down physical damage, two hundred fifty thousand. So it's really, really good. I mean, without this talent, it does fourteen thousand and twenty hits. Again, this to me, this is probably the ideal talent that you want to use for the fourth row. And for the last row, I'm using Curiosity um, Kills, Catnap, and put him, put him down. No longer breaks stealth and can be used out of stealth. Catnap always deals a critical hit. Put him down always... Oh, I'm sorry. Put him down applies a powerful slow. So what this talent does is Catnap and put him up no longer have you have to be invisible. So I'll show you what I mean. Which are my A and S powers. You notice how I can't activate them, but if I become invisible... Now I can activate them. So that's one of the things it does with this talent. But also, too, Catnap, which is my A power, always critical hits. And put them put them down and plays a powerful slow, which is my S power. Which, what this does is when you activate this power, the enemy's attack speed and move speed are decreased by 50%, which is really, really good. And those are my talents and traits. None for the rotation. It's really simple. Cat Clouds is my main spender. A, S, and D usually is, that's my usual rotation. F, as I mentioned, my trap. Use it whenever you can. They're available. It does pretty good damage, and you have six charges of them, so keep that in mind. Now, the way it works is, remember, Master Thief. When you activate Master Thief, your claws and whip powers do critical hit. 
So keep that in mind. So I would say when you activate before you activate Master Thief, make sure your powers are not in cooldown. That way, when you activate Master Thief, you can activate your ASC powers, take advantage of that critical hit chance, and hopefully you can re these powers refresh fast enough to where you can activate it again and do that critical hit chance. And then obviously the signature it does a lot of damage, um, but do keep in mind with the signature when you act with this catalyst when you activate the signature you increase your damage rating by 1,000. So with that said, as mentioned in the Cosmic Trial video or section, excuse me, um, I would say activate Master Thief because you get duration of five seconds and then after that, um, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm completely messed up. Um, Cats meow then Master Thief, that way you get that bonus from the Catalyst, which is 1,000 damage rating, and when you activate Master Thief, your Claws and Whip Powers do critical hit, but since this Catalyst gives you 1,000 damage rating for 4 seconds, when you activate these powers right here, not only do the critical hit, but also your damage rating is increased by 1,000. See what I mean? And on top of that, you when you critical hit, um, you gain plus 5 fighting with this... Um, with this uh, artifact, um, so it can it just keeps stacking your you essentially you're stacking you're increasing your damage your base damage and your damage rating. And then for the ultimate power, I would say you could do the same thing: activate signature, then master thief. That way, when you activate ultimate, it take advantage of that because from my understanding, this is a well, this is a melee. Never mind, exclude that. Take that back. But because um, I from my for, I. My assumption were that this was a claw power, but never mind. This ultimate is not a claw, so please excuse that. Excuse what I mentioned about the ultimate, you know, using it with Master Thief. Um, disregard that. But uh, yeah, that's that's my build guide for um, Black Cat. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. Any requests for certain characters, leave it in the comment section below. I know some of you have been, uh, one of you requested me Black Panther. I did make a video, but for some reason, my editing software does not keep stuttering the second video, which is a build guide. So I'm kind of, I'm going to have to redo Black um, Black Panther again. I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's acting up. But anyways, but if you have any requests for certain characters, leave it in the comment section below. If you want to keep up to my channel and support the channel, please do subscribe to my channel. Now it does help the channel grow, but also means a lot to me as well. And yeah, that's it. That concludes my build guide for Black Cat. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and on to the next one. Bye-bye.